Good morning, Modern Stutters. Morning. It wasn't supposed to be this cold out. It is negative eight degrees Fahrenheit oh. this morning. I know. I it, was pay attention. it was only supposed to be like negative two. But they're still calling for it to get 28 degrees out today. But that's not till about like 10 o'clock tonight. Now we're gonna be getting a bunch of snow. We're supposed to get anywhere from four inches to 10 inches of snow tonight and through tomorrow. So we're in for a bit of a nor'easter snowstorm. <sighs> we need to take care of our animals this morning, get some fresh goat's milk. Gina used it all up yesterday. Yeah. So hopefully Buttercup gives us a good amount this morning. We're gonna head to the property and we got a surprise for you with the sliding glass door. Good morning, ladies. I know, it's chilly. It's so cold, my nose hairs are freezing. And the snow is squeaking. I'll feed you ladies in the coop this morning. Come on. There you go. Moose, why are you under NYC, mister? I'm telling you, it wasn't supposed to be this cold this morning. This week is supposed to be starting to warm up a little bit. I was looking forward to this morning being above zero. Oh, it's gonna be a cold one up at the off-grid shipping container. I'm glad we got that wood stove up there. What are you doing, Nora? Come on, Nora. You're ready for another breakfast already, Hope? Little P. Come on in. I'm like, yeah, we're out of here. Cold or not, we want our breakfast. Well, it's warmed up a few degrees. It's only negative three out. Oh, watch out for that. You ready to go inside and see your door? Yep. That's a workout in itself.
Looks so nice. I'm gonna put your door handle on today. Oh yeah. I haven't seen any new tracks since we opened this up. No. What the heck? You guys just saw me and my friend installing that door. It went pretty easy. I was happy with how well it went. So now we got our sliding glass door. We gotta seal it up frame it up and then we got to figure out where we want to put all of our electrical boxes and our lights in here so we can start on some wiring and pretty soon we'll be able to get the wood stove in here to heat it up that's going to be nice to have heat in here <laughs> then we'll be spoiled i get a couch sit and watch you work right <laughs> first things first is we got to seal up some of these joints before we frame up our interior wall Oh, it's going to be so nice once we have it insulated and the wood stove installed. I did just pick up the chimney through wall kit, so at some point we can get that installed and get the wood stove hooked up. I don't know if you can hear that noise or not, but... That's the fellow bunch of running, cutting down some trees. They'll probably get noisier once they start using the chipper too. I want to give it a quick seal before we frame this wall up, make it watertight. And then later on we'll seal it from the outside too. Sealant is so see through. It's like, oh, did I get that spot? Oh, so close to having it one two be enough. Like, we just ran out. I hear a truck. There they go. Going to get a load. I don't know if this stuff's freezing or drying first.
nicely though. And it's supposed to be nice today. Yeah. It's cold, but I can already feel, you know what I mean, a change? I can already feel a change. Yeah. It's like I said, it's supposed to get to 28. Yeah. Which is just crazy. Like the other day it was cold and it, you could feel like it was going to stay that way. Right. Sounds like they're coming out of the woods with a load. Here they come. There goes a load of wood chips. So I'm not doing king studs or jack studs or anything for this door open because it's not structural. It's just to, to put our, our interior wall on and trim work on. Just enough rope.
going well. Keep this clench over. get up top and get that all secured will be good. ceiling rafters to put in and the last one I'm going to butt it right up against to this one from across and that'll tie these tops in better. It'll make a strong back to brace the top of this wall. So what I'm thinking for electrical here is putting a switch right here on the side of the door. Two switches, one to turn on lights in here. And the cabin is 20 feet long by just under eight feet wide on the inside. I'm thinking two recessed pop lights. Let me know what your thoughts are. You think two pop lights is enough or should we do more? I wanna have all LED lighting in here. And then I was thinking of having the other switch to power one power light on the outside on this side. I wasn't gonna do any lights over here where these windows are. And then I also thought below this light, I could have one outlet outside. So if we ever needed to have power outside or run an extension cord or something, 
we have it right there. Right. Over here under these windows, we plan on having a countertop. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want four outlets over here? Is what I was thinking, like one, one on this side of the window, one here, one there, and then one on that side of the window. And then over here, we're gonna have our stove, wood stove. So we might wanna have one outlet there just in case we ever need a blower for anything and then have one or two by the table. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. What I was thinking is putting our breaker panel on this side of the wall. I was thinking on this side, but I could go on this side. Have our breaker panel here, and I was thinking of having some outlets on this wall, and we could always put a workbench on this wall. So we could have power to that workbench, and then also, if we're using this as our construction depot as we're building, we could have our battery operated tools in here and the batteries in here charging. I wanna have all the solar stuff right here in the container end and then we could charge all of our batteries. That's what I was thinking. If you have any suggestions or anything that we missed, leave it in the comments down below because I don't always think of everything. He's enjoying the warm up we've had this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> don't swat at me, mister. Were you napping up there or what, mister? They're liking the warmer weather too. Maybe we'll get some more eggs from them tomorrow. They just want to eat outside. Two eggs, oh, nice. Oh man, it cracked from it being so cold this morning. Been having that happen quite a bit. I think there's a frozen. I'll say usually? two and one's frozen and one's not. Nothing. None? Them ladies are slacking. I'm gonna make some scalloped potatoes tonight and First, I gotta get my onion diced. So I'm gonna use the smaller grate of the chopper here. My onions are softened, my garlic is butter, all that's good. So I'm just going to, I have two tablespoons of gluten-free flour. My cup of milk. Half a cup of chicken broth. a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is an eighth of a teaspoon here. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. 
and that's thickening up really nicely. Okay, most important part, make sure you grease your pan, oil your pan, your baking dish so that you don't have to scrub so hard when you have to wash it. I just have avocado in my sprayer here. And then I'm just going to lay some potatoes down on the bottom here. Not gonna get too fancy. Kind of cover the bottom. Just gonna use my salt shaker and pepper shaker so I don't get too carried away. Salt. And pepper and then do sauce just like lasagna except for nothing like lasagna I have it all put together now. I'm going to get in the oven. It's at 350 and I'm going to bake it. It's probably going to take over an hour. Dear Lord, thank you for a wonderful day. It feels good getting the door installed and it looks even better. I'm glad we got that end wall built. Now we can start on the electrical system in the off-grid cabin. We're gonna go solar. I gotta wire it all up like a normal house first is my plan and then we can figure out the solar system. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I haven't done too much with solar, so any suggestions would be helpful. We didn't have time to get up above today and check out the progress of the logging done up at the property, but we'll get up there in tomorrow's video. Go, go check it out and see how it looks. Hoping for a nice clear day and for all of the hitches to be picked up so I can show you guys along. And maybe once it warms up a little bit, we can fly the drone. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.